My name is Joe Saul. I'm an adoptee, a psychotherapist, and the author of Adoption Healing, A Path to Recovery. Suggestions for Daily Inner Child Work Every morning while you brush your teeth, give your inner child a hug, say good morning, tell her you love her, ask her how she's feeling, if all is well, then continue your day. If she says she's sad or angry, etc., ask her why, listen to what she says, validate her feelings, and if she needs some talk time, more hugs, more reassurances of safety and love, take the time to give it to her. You can do all this in the time it takes to brush your teeth. All the above is the same as you should do with any child in your care. As you go about your day, listen very carefully to the things going on in your head. We all have a continuous narrative in our heads and one of the chores of our healing is to learn how to listen to what's being said and identify who's saying it. Is it your younger self talking or is it your adult self? Is it an inner child of a different age than you normally work with? When an adult says, for example, I know I shouldn't have that second piece of cake, but I will anyway. It's one's adult self who says, I know I shouldn't, and one's inner child who says, I will anyway, and she takes over. If we can learn to listen before we speak our act and identify the age of the voice we hear, we can learn to not let our inner child control our actions in our lives. The more one nurtures any child, and our inner child is a child, the less that child will try to do things that she or he should not do to get attention or hugs or reassurances of safety and love. The less we take care of our inner child, the more our inner child will try to take over and control our actions without our being aware of it. So by learning who's talking, we can be more in control of our lives and have a healthier life with healthier relationships as a result. During the day, I suggest you channel your anger into physical activities. You should do this without thinking of anger. Just say out loud in your head, I'm going to take my anger and use it to clean or exercise, or walk down the long driveway to get the mail and then immediately do the activity. The activity gets done without any stress or strain and you will be using your negative energy to do it, leaving your good energy for other things. Your younger self, your inner child, should not live in the house you grew up in. She should be living with you in an imaginary space that you create for her in a way that pleases her. For example, a petting zoo including a dolphin she can swim with at any time or a pet tiger. Whatever she wants is what she gets. All the toys, games, movies she wants, and access to any fictional character she chooses to spend time with while you do your daily work. Here and there during the day, I suggest you do a few of the exercises from the wonderfully helpful The Complete Idiot's Guide to Zen Living. Please don't let this title scare you off. This book coupled with inner child work is superb. Take time, as often as possible, to just be present, to just be in the now with yourself. Take time, as often as possible, to just be in the now with your younger self, your inner child. Every evening while brushing your teeth, check in with your inner child and ask her how she's doing. Give her a hug, tell her you love her, wish her sweet dreams. If she needs some extra talk time, give it to her. If she just wants to snuggle with you, that's okay too. If you do all the above, eventually you will both sleep well and wake up refreshed, and this will keep you and your inner child healthy and peaceful and content. I hope you take care of your inner child this way. It's the way I take care of mine. Namaste.